video, the blower on the Hellcat is absolutely fried. I was able to get a start last night after taking the belt off the blower and been frantically looking for another one. Luckily, my boys at Shop Hellcats always come through and they have a used 3.0 or 3.8 liter Whipple Gen 5. So I'm going to go down and pick that up. I was going to have my cousin drive it up, but he couldn't make it because he's on jury duty. So I got a call from my boy Chad, who you guys have seen in the videos. Just stay off the limiter, all right? And he was like, do you want to go flying today? And I was like, as a matter of fact, why don't we make the 30 minute flight down to Fort Myers to go pick these parts up? So Chad and I are meeting at the airport right now. We are about to fly to Fort Myers to go pick up this Whipple supercharger. You've seen me fly this plane before. This is the Piper Warrior that I actually got my airplane single engine land private pilot's license in. I already have my private pilot's license from Rotocraft helicopters, but this is the one that I've spent a lot of time in. This is also the bird that Chad is currently working on his private pilot's license. I'm gonna be acting as pilot in command today since I have my private pilot's license and he does not, and I am not an instructor so that I cannot allow him to use the controls Legally. Did my rock around, she's completely full of fuel, looks absolutely dialed in. Just a perfect bird for ripping down to Fort Myers and back. Chad, you Same know why baby. we're doing this, right? Baby under the books, right? Because you redlined the Hellcat for so long <laughs> that the blower is you tug it and your car fell apart. That's what happened. <laughs> you, you ruined my Hellcat. Now I have to spend all this money to fix it. Hey, I offered 700 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Solid, solid 40 minutes on the way here, but we had a 20 knot headwind, so hopefully we'll be able to haul butt back to Venice. Oh, please, Zach. Look at that thing. My boy knows how to show up in style. Thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate you making it happen. I appreciate making it easy. Look at us just goofing with our toys. Damn, that is, that is blue. It's very blue. Did you paint that? I I wish I said I could. <laughs> well, it's a used blower, guys. It came off a car that was blue. The customer painted it blue, but Zach can always make it happen with parts, so we're just going to send it how it is. This thing's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, it will fit. You don't have to clear it. You don't have to do anything. It'll, it's uh, actually shorter height-wise than the 4.5, so you'll be good. And this is a 3-liter. Three 3-liter? Three liter? Yeah, so this is the Gen 5 Whipple. People say these these three liters can really put down some oh, power. Oh, they can. You, well, the, the four and a half take a lot more brunt, but clearly not with you. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, these should be, you'll be happy with this. You got a whole box of parts for me too, man. Yeah, all right. Auto body lines, fuel rails, all of it. Nice. My dog. All right, Appreciate let me get you some cash. We'll get her loaded up in the airplane. Heading back to Venice. Oh, is there a pulley or should I just use my pulley? Are there any weird tools that I need or anything? You shouldn't need anything. It should be exactly the same as the sock blower. It's yeah. not light. Yeah. made it back to Venice and we're going over our times right now we were gone for two hours exactly so we think we saved about 10 minutes <laughs> -uh. it's an hour and a half down an hour and a half back yeah probably with traffic and uh I, I probably agree. probably with traffic for and rush if you hour had gone to a shop you would have stuck there at least 30 minutes yeah talking about cars shop, talking shop blah 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 well well worth it I mean that that had that tailwind coming back we were doing like 135 knots and our airspeed was like, our, what, 106? 
So we had like 25 knot tailwind, which was prime for getting home. That's, that's Sucked on the way there though. Current situation, it is Monday night and I gotta start diving into this car because I know there's gonna be parts that I need to order. And like I've told you guys before, we have an event this weekend we gotta get the car up and running for. There's some nuances that are different from other Hellcats because this car is running on a Holley Dominator. So I know there's something with the map sensor, the fuel lines, the intercooler lines. And I'm probably gonna have to get some adapters since I'm going from a Gen 4 to a Gen 5 Whipple. Obviously this is gonna be a 4.5 liter. I've got the 3.0 in the back of my truck in Freedom Blue, but the first step is gonna be pulling this off. So I think what I'm gonna do first is take the hood off the car. That way I get some better lighting. See what I can do. And then uh, I already started disconnecting some fuel lines and we'll just cut to some action here. Now make sure you do a double half hitch on there, you know? Yeah. Really get a go. surgeon's knot. <laughs> Guys, check out these beefy ropes we're gonna use to pull the supercharger up. These ropes are from Atwood Rope Manufacturers. It's Roman Atwood's brother who owns a rope company, and he sent me a box of this stuff, and we're putting it to use. This is top-notch quality stuff. Yep, you're good. You can keep going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got some water leaking back here. It's all right. It's staying out of the cylinder. Out of the, out of the you head. That wrench that you have on top there. Yep. You're looking good. Just some water. It's still leaking. Um, what that plug came out, which is fine. I just need to mark it so I know to plug it back in. Get that you put the other one in? Or? Yeah, I'm gonna start it. Good rate of descent right there. These things are not light. Look at that, all in about what, 10 minutes of work? <laughs> Your fingers in the way. Yeah. Aim it like right at here. All right, I'm about to pull this blower off for the first time. I haven't seen it yet since the damage occurred. Uh-huh. Looking like we have some some metal contacting right here. There's like some metal shavings in here. And then on here, the intercooler brick. Looks like there's some chunks of metal on here. Oh, look at all this right here. Let me see. We have metal chunks. That is a no bueno for a blower. Can't have metal coming out of here. It's literally completely seized up. I can't even rotate it with my hand. So I'm the muscle. I mean, I'm the look out. Come on, on, get let's get this blower in the in the car here. Parky, you sure you don't want to lift it? Yeah, don't get close to me, you guys. I have on white. Got this freedom blue blower. All right. That looks See, heavy. It is not light. I'll tell you that. You use pure muscle. Now you're starting to act like a gearhead. Right up in here. You're gonna hurt yourself. Let me, let me do it. No, I, I train for moments like this. Yeah. Well, you look at the beauty of that thing in here. I, did, I don't know, I was a little hesitant about the blue, but I kind of like get that it. In. Yep, I got it. I got it. Let her down. Oh, shoot, Parker. Oh, fit. I see it. I see it. Back to the drawing board. This is gonna have to move your... Yeah, it's hitting that uh, power steering reservoir right there. Can you show me again? Right here, it's hitting that. It's gonna have to be moved. Yes, it is. Gonna have to get a new tank for that. Probably the stock one, I would assume. But that thing looks huge in there. The blue is kind of wild. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up for today's episode. I'm gonna edit this video, go to the gym, get some sleep, and tackle this again tomorrow. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow.
Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.